Hi everybody, JackRoachercycle.com. Hey, I got some great news today. Well, it's exciting news for me, hopefully for you too, because it should be a fun project. As you know, I've been a test pilot for Robinson Helicopter Company for 30 years. I just retired and I'm bored, so I need something to do. And, you know, my, my wife drives a Model 3 Tesla and I drive a Mitsubishi Miev electric car and I just love the electric car thing. I love the Model 3. And I was thinking of, eh, let me go out and just buy a Model 3 with dual motors and, you know, all that stuff just, just for fun. But the problem is, you go buy it, then you bring it home, and then I still got nothing to do. So I'm bored, so I got to do something. So this is what we're doing. As you know, I've built a lot of stuff on RoadsterCycle.com. You've seen Roadster Cycles I've built and that type of stuff. But this is what we're doing now. So let me grab the camera, and I'm going to give you a little look at what we're going to do. Or what I'm going to do. Fun. Okay, I have a Performance Sport Model S rear everything, okay, rear subframe, and behind it, I have the donut car, which is a 2007 uh, Mustang GT model with loaded everything. It's got the works, which is what I wanted, because instead of going out and buying, you know, a new Model 3 or buying a, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, something else or buying maybe the new Corvette, the mid-engine Corvette, which would be really cool. I really love electric cars, and I just can't go back to an ICE car as far as that goes. So, this is what we're going to do. Uh, as far as the walk around, we got a chain hoist to do it. I've got bandsaw for anything I need. Over here, we got a fan because it's hotter than heck. Uh, this is a uh, vertical plasma cutter of my own design that I built. Uh, that's a transmission stand where we'll get the trans out and then we'll pull the engine out separately. We have our uh, CNC mill, which will work out running a uh, Centroid controller that's up on the wall up there. We have a lathe, 12 by a 36 inch lathe, drill press, uh, sander, needs a new belt, but that is what it is. Stand up, uh, vertical bandsaw. 7 ton hydraulic press to, to do the differential because it looks like we're going to have to do the uh, differential to uh, get positive traction in these things because uh, they do not have positive traction. So uh, other than that, that's, that's what's exciting news. So it's going to be a, a Tesla motor swap into a 2007 uh, Mustang GT. Should be awesome. I'm going to try to make sure the CAN bus works for everything. You know, the airbags, you know, it's got navigation, it's got everything. So I think it'll be a great, fun car instead of just going and buying one, you know, at the dealer and be done with it. All right. So it's going to be fun. The, the thing that we're going to have a couple issues with is number one, the differential. I definitely have to make it uh, positive traction. The uh, controller, I'm going to use a. Uh, what do you call it? The guy from Ireland who, who built the uh, board for the controller to be able to swap it out. Damien uh, McGuire is his name. He's in uh, Ireland. He figured out the boards and a lot of guys in the U.S. are using his boards and uh, supposedly they're taking their na his name off and putting their name on and kind of ripping off Damien. But I'm not sure about that. I don't, I don't have any idea. But that's just a rumor. But the thing is, is that the wheels for a Model S are just about the same size as a four and three quarters uh, GM car. So I want to see if I can get a set of uh, the torque, the old style torque uh, mags for this thing so I can have like 18s in the back and 17s in the front and see if that fits. So I'm hoping uh, somebody from America Wheel will uh, maybe see this and contact me to see if we can get a rep to come over and see if we can uh, get an 18 inch wheel that'll fit on this thing because most of them are 19 some people say 18s won't fit if you know for sure that on the back of a uh, you know model s that a 18 inch wheel will fit that would be awesome but that's one of the you know trials and tribulations of what's going on i've already had the car up in the air i've looked at the back it looks like i can make a nice uh bolt-in package for the subframe and i'm also going to measure for a uh, model 3 subframe too to see if some people want to do the retro looking mustangs uh, i really wanted to do like a 67 fastback or 68 fastback and it's impossible the, the numbers or the price they want for these cars are crazy so 
What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try not to bore you. This will be like part one, just the introduction. Um, and I don't wanna bore you with, with this stuff, so I'm not gonna show you taking off every bolt and taking the transmission out and all this stuff. So the next time I get back with you, the trans will be out, the engine will be out, the differential will be out, and we'll be actually at the point where we're gonna set up and put the uh, this you know system in the back and see what it's gonna take to get the mounting and that type of stuff. So anyway, so that's the fun part. That's what uh, is going on. Uh, I really hope that uh, you'll enjoy it. It, it should be, uh, I don't know how many months or how long it's gonna take. I work pretty fast, so um, things get done. And I have a hoist in the floor, so I definitely have a car hoist you know, in my shop. So hopefully it'll go fast. Hopefully it'll be fun. Any questions, comments down below. I'm not gonna say subscribe or all that stuff. I am gonna monetize it, but you know, just because, you know, throw it out there. If I can get a few bucks extra to be able to, you know, do the car or buy a nicer part or that type of stuff would be great. Um, but other than that, hey, I can't wait. Next time I see you, we'll have the motor and trans and everything out, and hopefully that'll be within the next couple days. And today's August 29th, so hopefully by, you know, September 4th or 5th or after Labor Day weekend, we'll be on the next step of fitting the chassis underneath it. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, I'm back. So this is uh, like day three, and motor's out, uh, getting ready to pull the differential down. Um, so here's what we got. Or to the differential, I'm just starting to take that apart. Motor's out. Give you a shot underneath here, see? So the motor's out, which means the engine bay and all this right here might be batteries. Looks like we've got a lot of room for batteries. So that's what that looks like under the Mustang 2007 GT. Okay, that's the Roadster cycle. That's one of my old bills right there. So we're gonna have fun. Now we just gotta take and whip the new uh, uh, Tesla deal in here. So this is what this looks like. It's the fuel pump setup. These are the gas tanks right here. So after I get the differential out, then we'll take and pull the gas tanks and get that out of the way. This is gonna to have to be cut. I think I mentioned that before. That's gonna to have to get like a half moon put in it for the uh, for the motor, but we'll see. But anyway, again, I'm not gonna to try to bore you. Some, some YouTube videos just drive me crazy. So I'm gonna shut off now and after I get you know some more steps done, I'll turn on and uh, show you where we're at. All right, bye. Well, a couple more steps in the right direction. The uh, differential's out. There's the Tesla differential. So let's just look and see here. I know it's a little bit wider. Doors open, so we're getting some flash back from there. Now I gotta use the cherry picker to pull it off this and put it down on the ground, and then I'll use the uh, my transmission puller to uh, pull the gas tank. So here we are here, and that looks like that could be a mounting point, and that could be a mounting point. We got a mounting point up here for one side of it. Uh, this may have to go, the, uh, the link, the, uh, oh, what do you call it? I can't see what it is right now, but anyway, that might have to go. But what we'll do is we'll take and maybe box this area here to get to make it stronger because that thing that thing's got a lot of torque. So we got to make sure we're we're in good shape there with our mounts. This all is this is a spare tire, so we can cut into that no problem. That almost looks like a gas tank, but it's actually these these are the gas tanks, like two saddlebags underneath there and this is the fuel pump assembly like I was saying before that's what that looks like so I'll be taking that all off and getting that cleaned up and that'll be uh, next so here we are okay we're moving along Mustang to Tesla motor swap so just for fun I thought I'd shoot you another video I got the differential out like I said uh, a minute ago and then I pushed the uh, 
Tesla under here. It's amazing that it looks like it's going to be really close. I mean, once the gas tank is out of here, that's going to go. You know, the mount's got to come up. You know, it's got to be at 16 inches center. So we got to be 16 inch below the this about. I, I just got to figure it out more as far as that goes as we go. But check this out. The shock almost fits where it's at right now, which is totally wrong, but it's pretty uh, pretty amazing that it almost went there. I got to pull the shocks out, get them out of the way. But this has definitely got to go. It's in a very precarious location for what's going on, so it's gone. So, uh, so that's about it. So I'll use my portable hand um, bandsaw to be able to uh, cut that out. I'm going to look if there's a way maybe to... Uh, drill this so it actually can be removed and put back in you know if needed um i'm just kind of concerned about the strength you know getting cracks through here because uh, this thing's going to be really torquey so that's uh kind of a concern for me like i said i don't know if you saw it on camera or not I'm thinking of maybe drilling these out i might have the camera pointed the wrong way sorry about that so anyway so that's what we got so it's uh actually friday afternoon getting ready to do uh what do you call it date night with the wife so that's it for this one i'm going to start another uh video this is just the first video i'm going to do another video uh probably in a couple days after i get uh going a little bit farther here and be able to show you guys uh the mounting and stuff after i get the gas tank and stuff out so that'll be next all right thanks a lot for watching bye hi guys another day uh, it's like day three, I think, uh, it's Saturday morning. So I had to take uh, a part off. So there was a couple of different ways to try to do it. Um, I showed, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it, and you can do it a different way or anything like that. Um, if you're going to do something like this, it just I, I figured this was the easiest way to do it. And after I'm done, I will use a uh, wire welder to fill the holes. But here you go. I'm going to flip the camera over. Okay, so I had to take the brace out for the uh, oh the link that goes to the rear end. So I went to Harbor Freight and bought one of these beauties, okay, which is a uh, spot weld taker outer or whatever, where you drill a hole and then go like this and open it up. Okay, um, didn't work really well. So what I decided to do is drill first a. Uh, small pilot hole like this then take and use a 3 8 drill to drill it just about to the frame just so it's through the uh, top ones and it worked pretty well it, they're coming off really good so once I do that it's gonna look a little bit like Swiss cheese but like I said I'll take uh, my wire welder and fill the holes back in so hopefully we won't get any stress cracks uh, through that area so that should be it. and plus the Tesla's got its own frame underneath so it's actually gonna be you know strong so I, i'm not that worried about it but just something i just want to make it and make it be cleaner all right anyway other than that we got everything else pretty much gone under here for the tesla swap so pretty excited about that so today we'll definitely try to fit the motor and everything in there and see how it works all right thanks for watching bye me again as you can see i'm a little bit dirty because it's this is dirty work it's not a dirty job, but it's just it's fun work actually as far as I go as far as I, I tell I'm having a blast So anyway, so I got the underneath cut out this piece down here on the floor This one What a nightmare to get that out. That's just the jack right here, but I just got it look at all these Things I had to drill out to get that thing out of there to get it out of the way That was probably the worst job of the whole thing so anyway so got that out so the next step before I can test get the motor in there is I have to cut this out as you can see this line around here I already broke one bit but that's okay it's just my own fault so anyway so it's gonna go like that and that'll get it out of the way so the motor will be able to go up in here so once I get that done I can finally start engineering the uh, motor setup as far as how it's gonna fit in so that's where we're at that's where I'm at so the Mustang, to, or the Tesla to Mustang conversion is uh, moving along. Uh, hopefully it's 
not boring you guys or going too slow, but you know, it's been three days and I got it so we're on the way back now. Just got some more bits to try that. Okay, hole is cut out for the motor to be able to uh, fit in there. So I was starting to use this, this, uh, you know, uh, skill saw to cut that hole. And then I remembered I had this handy dandy Harbor Freight body saw, general pneumatic, or whatever the heck it is. Oh my gosh. This thing cut like butter. It was amazing. What a difference. I broke like four blades on the skill saw until I remembered I had this thing. And you know what? I don't remember what I paid for it because it's been years and I never used it before. But it's worth the money. And I just got a small compressor that I use because it's a real quiet, one of those California quiet ones. And if it would have had a big compressor, man, I'd, I'd have kicked this out in five minutes, but it took me about 15 minutes or 20 minutes because I started out with the skill saw. So if you're gonna do any body work, man, this thing is the bomb. And I don't get, I don't have any, uh, what do you call it? Any reason to tell anybody that other than that, it worked great. So, okay, so the hole's in, and next thing we'll be uh, starting to fit the, the motor assembly in here. All right, have a great one, bye.